Hi, today we will talk about the drugs that may be used for hypertension in pregnancy and the drugs that should be avoided or those should not be used for hypertension in pregnancy. Hypertension in pregnancy can cause severe complications in the mother and the fetus and is a major contributor to maternal deaths. Hence, its management should be the topmost priority. Let us first go through the drugs which may be used and the drugs which should be avoided or which should not be used for hypertension in pregnancy and let us see how we can remember them. So, we begin the drugs that appear safe for use in pregnancy. We will first talk about mild to moderate hypertension. For mild to moderate hypertension, the drug of choice is methyl dopa. Methyl dopa has a long and documented safety record in pregnancy. It does not appear to affect the maternal cardiac output or the blood flow to the uterus or the kidneys. The second drug that may be used in mild to moderate hypertension is labetalol. It is also considered as the first choice by many physicians. It has a safety profile similar to methyl dopa. Moreover, it is rapid acting and it can be given both orally and intravenously. The third drug that is commonly used is a calcium channel blocker nifedipine. Nifedipine is widely used mostly in the late gestation period. However, the long term effects of its use are not known. The other drugs which can be used in mild to moderate hypertension are hydralazine, clonidine, prazosin and cardioselective beta blockers except atenolol. Why not atenolol? We will look in the next slide. Now, how do we remember these drugs? We can remember these by the mnemonic M, L, N. M refers to methyl dopa, L refers to labetalol and N refers to nifedipine. We can remember M, L, N by mother loves newborn. We can also observe that the first letter for mother starts with M. Methyl dopa also starts with letter M. So, methyl dopa is the drug of choice for mild to moderate hypertension in pregnancy. Next, we will have a look at the drugs used in severe hypertension and hypertensive emergencies. Severe hypertension is defined as a blood pressure more than or equal to 160 by 110 millimeter mercury. For severe hypertension, the drug of choice is intravenous hydralazine. It is a widely used drug in severe hypertension and it has a long safety experience. The other drugs which can be used in severe hypertension are intravenous labetalol, oral nifedipine and intravenous nitroprusside. How do we remember these? We can remember these by the mnemonic HLN. H refers to hydralazine, L refers to labetalol and N refers to nifedipine and nitroprusside. We can remember HLN by he loves newborn. Now, moving to the drugs that should be avoided or those that should not be used during pregnancy. The first and the most important group of drugs which are strictly contraindicated in pregnancy are the ACE inhibitors. That is the drugs ending with letter PRILS such as Keptopril, Lisinopril, Enalapril, Ramipril etc. The other group of drugs that are to be avoided and those are contraindicated are the ARBs or the angiotensin receptor blockers. These are the drugs ending with the letters Sartans such as Losartan, Valsartan, Irbisartan etc. Why these two group of drugs should not be given, given in pregnancy? Because if given in second and third trimester of pregnancy, they may cause fetal hypotension, anuria, malformations or fetal death. And if given during the first trimester, they may cause an increased risk of CVS and CNS malformation. Next is atenolol. Although cardioselective beta blockers can be given in pregnancy, atenolol specifically should be avoided because it is associated with fetal growth impairment if used in early pregnancy. The next group of drugs to be avoided in pregnancy are the non-selective beta blockers such as propranolol. Propranolol has been implicated to cause low birth weight, neonatal bradycardia, hypoglycemia, etc. Another group of drugs that should be avoided are the diuretics. 
diuretics generally prevent the volume expansion that normally occurs in pregnancy and may decrease placental perfusion how do we remember these we can remember these by the mnemonic a b d a refers to ace inhibitors angiotensin receptor blockers and atenolol b refers to non selective beta blockers and d refers to diuretics thanks for watching if you find the information in this video beneficial please share and please subscribe if you have not done yet thank you